Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Virtus here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 FPS series. In today's video we are going to be taking a look at how we can continue on with our ray tracing system. Now in the last video we did set up ray tracing for our gun so that it is no longer going to use a projectile based system. Now the way that it works at the moment is we are currently switching between a different camera when we aim down sight. So if we try and and fire a bullet you are going to notice it's going to be slightly offset and that's exactly what we're going to be fo uh, focusing on in today's video so essentially with our ray tracing system we are just going to be telling the engine to ray trace from a different camera if the player is aiming down their sights when they're trying to fire and the way that we're going to do this is if we open up the third person character, we actually have a variable for aiming. So essentially what we're going to do is when they're firing, we're going to tell it to run a check to see whether or not the player is currently aiming. And if they are, then it's going to use the other camera instead. So let's go ahead and set that up. So what we need to do then is we need to open up our FP, uh, our weapon and the one that we did this for so far is the AK-47. I'm going to open up the blueprint for this and then I am just going to find the stuff that we made in the last video and this should be right at the top hooked up to our fire function. Now what you'll notice at the moment is we've got this ray tracing stuff. Essentially what we need to do is before it goes ahead and does the ray trace is we simply need to run a simple branch check. So from the execution pin from cast to third person character, run a branch and for the condition, we are just checking to see whether or not aiming is true. Now that aiming variable is within the third person character. So drag out from there and simply type in get aiming. And what you want to do with this now then with the true if they are aiming, what we want to tell it to do is to just switch this camera. And the way we're going to do this is by having two sequences of code. So essentially what I'm going to do is copy all of this and then paste it up here. Now for true, we are going to have it going into the top line of code. And then for false, we're going to have it going into the second line of code. And from all of this, we still want it to take ammo and everything. So we are going to join it up after it's done all the ray tracing stuff to the rest of our function for taking away ammo and spawning the particle effects and all that good stuff. So the only difference that we are going to make is if it is true that the character is aiming, instead of using the follow camera here, as the third person camera uh, character, we are simply going to get ADS camera instead. So just type in get camera view ADS camera, delete this camera view. We don't need it. It's just a reference of ADS camera that we're after and hook this up to get world location and get world rotation for the true section of your ray trace. So if we go ahead and compile this now, press play. When we shoot, it should do our ray tracing as normal. If I reload and then aim down my sights, it's still going to ray trace from what is now the center of the screen on this new camera. And that is working all good. So now we have a really cool, really accurate system for all of this. Anyway, guys, I'm going to end the video here. I hope you guys have enjoyed it and we are going to be continuing it in the next video, showing you how you can get the AI to take damage from your ray tracing, similar to how we have done with the projectiles. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay awesome. Keep creating. Your boy Virtus signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.